So you start at Elden Ring, and you chose your class, and then this happens. You immediately regret your decision. Or maybe you've been playing Elden Ring for a while, and feel like you just need a change. Or maybe you tried a class, and it just didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. But then, when you respec and you get things just right, there is nothing better than just taking down a boss feeling like an absolute god. You respec using the larval tier. I'm gonna show you the locations of every larval tier in the game. Let's get started. So we're gonna start here at Agil Lake South. And right from the side of Grace, you just kind of wanna head to the left up here and kill this enemy. Now the minute this enemy is dead, you're gonna have a giant bear spawn. What you're gonna wanna do is just take this bear out and then that will drop the larval tier. And that is larval tier number one. Next up, we're going to the village of the Albaner Ricks. From the side of Grace, you just wanna head straight and then to the left and over here by these graves, there's gonna be this body. You're just gonna have this item that you can pick up from this body, and there is your second larval tier. Now we're going to the fallen ruins of the lake, and you just want to set your waypoint over here. And there's gonna be this giant prawn or lobster thing. You're gonna want to take it out, and you think that you're done, right? Well, no. Now another enemy respawns. Ugh, Elden Ring, you're killing me here. After you take out that enemy, then that is what's gonna give you your third larval tier. Now we're going to the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds. And from there, you want to head out the door, and then go to the left. And you kind of want to just hug the rocks here. Until you see this area and then drop down. Now, things might be a little bit different for you. You can take this ladder down and then there will be an NPC and you can either buy the larval tier from her or if your playthrough is anything like mine, she's already dead. So, then you can pick up her bell bearing and then you just want to head back to the round table holds and talk to the twin maiden husks. Turn in her bell bearing and then you're able to purchase the larval tier. Now we're going to the artist shack. And the reason that we're going here is because there is a painting and we're going to need to find this location. Now in order to find this location, go to the behind Karia Manor side of Grace. You want to follow the path, and then there's going to be this figure that's pointing. He's going to drop something, and it's going to be your next larval tier, as well as a couple other items. Now we're going to the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. And from there, you just want to set your waypoint to this general direction. And there's going to be a bunch of graves. Now from here, there's going to be a lot of enemies, and you're going to want to kill each and every single one of them, because one of them is going to spawn a giant. And then after you kill the giant, that is going to drop your next larval tier. Now we're going to the rampart side, side of grace. And we just want to follow the path here, until we get to kind of this abandoned building. Again, we have another enemy that we have to kill. And, of course, it spawns something else. It's never easy, is it? You want to take out that enemy, and then that will drop the larval tier. Now we're going to the Road of Iniquity. Now, for this one, I had already killed this enemy, but I'm going to show you exactly where it is. So it's going to be right in this area here, and it's going to be kind of a worm-like enemy. You just want to kill it, and then that will drop the larval tier. Now we're going to the inner consecrated snowfield side of Grace. And from there, we want to just head to the left and up the path. And there's going to be these three enemies kind of digging around in the snow. Now this one is pretty tough. I'm not going to lie, guys. You take out all three enemies, and this giant bear shows up. And the first bear wasn't too bad, right? Well, this one is super aggressive, and it definitely took me a couple of tries to take him down. Once you end up taking the bear out, then he is going to drop the next larval tier. Yeah, make sure you prep for that one, guys. He's, he's tough. Now we're going to this area in the map. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but you want to head over here, and there's going to be a merchant. 
And this merchant sells a larval tier. So we're gonna head over to him and buy it. Then you can just follow the route that I take. And then once you jump down, there's the merchant. Talk to him. And then you're able to purchase the next larval tier. And you just wanna start from this side of grace because it's pretty much right away. You head out the door and then there's gonna be a couple of enemies here. You can take them out if you want. But then on this body, you can pick up the larval tier. Now, I just want to preface from the mimic tier, there is a boss. Now, I already killed the boss, but once you kill the mimic tier boss, that will actually drop two larval tiers. Since I'd already killed it, I don't have the footage to show you, but trust me, that is what happens. Then you just want to head up here, and then you can pick up this larval tier from this body. Still in the same place, we want to travel to Knight's Sacred Ground side of Grace. And from there, you want to head up the stairs. And there's going to be this big boulder. Now, I didn't think there was anything that you had to do with this thing. But, if in fact you kill the boulder, you get a larval tier. And that will be kind of a running theme moving forward. So now we're going to Noxtella. And from there, you want to head up the stairs. And from there, you want to head to the right. Then you want to go left up the stairs. And then to the right. And then there will be a boulder that comes down the stairs. And you guys already know the drill. You want to take the boulder out. And then once you do, it will drop the larval tier. And now the next one is actually very close. So you just want to turn around. And you want to head straight and then to the left and there will be a door you want to go through the door and then it's going to close behind you and the boulder is going to drop take out the boulder and there's your next larval tier also within this room there is a chest and i thought i would just include it in the video um so you just can turn around open up that chest and then that is going to give you a great ghost glowwort now leave the room head up the stairs and then there will be a door to your right, go through the door, and then there is a ton of these things that drop. Eventually, just take out as many as you can. The boulder will drop. It just took a while, and I had to kill a bunch of these enemies. As you can see there, it ended up just taking the boulder out for me. After you eventually take out all the enemies, then you can pick up the larval tier. And that's it guys, that is all 18 larval tiers. So now you can go to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria and you can talk to this NPC and then she will grant you the option of rebirth and that is how you respec. Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.